Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel and uh, in this video we will study about three dimensional arrays. So if you have, a, for example, if you make array declaration, suppose I make a, I make an integer array, suppose ARR, and then I have three opening and closing uh, square brackets, bracket subscript, then this is an example of three dimensional array. So uh, very well so what is a three dimensional array so in this video we will not uh, actually you know we will not do some coding or some programming with three dimensional arrays we are what my attempt is just you know to help you visualize how three dimensional arrays look like so uh, if you uh, if you have watched the previous video then we talked about two dimensional arrays and i said that two dimensional array is also a one dimensional array but is a 1d array of what it is a one dimensional array of one dimensional array so similarly when i talk about three dimensional arrays then also three dimensional arrays are also one dimensional arrays but there are they are special kind of one dimensional arrays look so a three dimensional array is what a three dimensional array is also a one d array but is a one d array of what it is a one dimensional array of two d two dimensional arrays all right so if you are not able to get it so let me uh, do one thing uh, let me uh, uh, all right so let me declare this uh, and initialize this uh, uh, over here so how many uh, how many in this case if you just observe there are three to two uh, there are three two dimensional arrays and each two dimensional arrays has two rows and two columns all right this is the exact allocation so how am i going to write it i am going to write um, um, okay like this and and then again uh, like this so each of this represents one two dimensional array and each two dimensional array has what it has a uh, like this uh, uh. see each two dimensional arrays has two uh, uh, two rows and each row has how many columns it has two columns so i can now populate it with some value suppose i say 3 comma 1 2 comma what suppose 2 comma 5 and then uh, uh, suppose uh, 1 comma 4 and then 5 comma 7 any values I can populate it with suppose 9 comma 4 and then 3 comma 8 and then I can close it so this is now a three dimensional array so you if you just see this is the allocation which we did this is a two dimensional array and in this two dimensional arrays how many rows are there there are exactly two rows see there are two rows and each row has how many columns it has two columns you know because there are two values three and one two and five similarly you know it is it is the case with everything so now if i just uh, if i just uh, you know try to draw how this uh, how we can how we can better visualize this we can uh, we can do something like this uh, for example uh, i'll just uh, so how many two dimensional arrays are there three two dimensional arrays are there so let me have three two dimensional arrays like this this is my first two dimensional array this and this is my second two dimensional array and this is what this is the third two dimensional arrays each two dimensional arrays is having how many rows you know each two dimensional arrays is having how many rows they are having exactly you know two rows so each two dimensional array is having two rows and each row you know i like this And each row is having how many columns? They are having two columns. So I can make two columns like this. And now I can fill the values. Uh, 3, 1, 2, 5, 1, 4, 5, 7, and then 9, 4, 9, 4, and uh, 3, 8. See, this is the 0th. Uh, two dimensional array this is the first two dimensional array and this is the second two dimensional array this is the zeroth row this is the first row again this is the zeroth row this is the first row this is the zeroth row and this is the first row again this is uh, for the zeroth row this is the zeroth column and this is the first column similarly over here this is the zeroth column this is the first column this is the zeroth column and this is the first column now if i ask you about the index of this element what will be the you know how will you access this element it is in the first uh, uh, two dimensional array and first two dimensional array in the in the you know in the first row and in the zeroth column so i will accept access it by index 110 if i write 110 then i will get what i will get 5 
Now, if you talk about this element, then it will have index what? 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1. So, 2, 1, 1. And you can, you can, you know, you can verify this also. and this two dimensional array and you know also this two dimensional array so now each two dimensional array is having how many rows it is having two rows and in each row there are how many columns there are two columns so you can write like this you know uh, uh, all right you know it is getting little clumsy but still this is the zero row, and this is what this is the first row again uh, this is the zero row. And this is what this is the first row and then again what it is uh, like this you know again uh, if you go over here uh, this is the zeroth row and then again this is the this is what this is the first row and then this is the zeroth element first element zeroth element for each row this is the zeroth element first element similarly this is zeroth element this is the first element this is the zeroth element this is the first element this is the zeroth element first zero one all right and now let me fill up the fill it fill it up with values so how values three one two five okay and then over here one four and then five seven all right and then over here nine four and what three eight all right and now if i ask you about what is how will you access this element see 
we saw in the previous video we were accessing it by index what 1 comma 1 comma 0 so it is in the first uh, you know in the first uh, uh, two dimensional array and which row of the first two dimensional array see this one and which element you know 0 so I will access again I, you know this will be accessed by the index what 1 comma 1 comma 0 suppose I want to access this element then what will I say it is in the second two dimensional array in the second two dimensional array the first the you know the first row of the second two dimensional array uh, when I mean first you know uh, it, it actually means you know I'm, I'm telling it by the index you know but actually it is the second because indexing starts from zero so actually this one and then which which uh, which column you know this uh, uh, second column which has an index what which has an index one so again here I'm going to you know so always remember that this is the way three dimensional arrays will be allocated they will 12 elements will be allocated in contiguous fashion but you are going to access them in you know using proper indexes what we have seen you know first index will uh, represent you know which uh, two dimensional array you, go you are going to access and then the second index second index will represent which row and the third will represent you know which column so this is a way to visualize a three dimensional array okay so I will not write any program uh, sp specific to three dimensional arrays if you want you can practice them on your own but I just wanted to give you a visualization of how three dimensional array work and look like okay thank you so much for watching my videos